हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट रेस्पिरेशन व्हाट इज रेस्पिरेशन प्रोसेस एंड व्हाई इट इज नीडेड ऑलरेडी इन न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन में हम लोग ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके थे फॉर एसिमिलेशन ड्यूरिंग एसिमिलेशन ऑफ फूड इट मींस द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इन ऑल बॉडी सेल्स द रेस्पिरेशन प्रोसेस टेक्स प्लेस टू रिलीज एनर्जी एंड दिस एनर्जी इज नीडेड टू रन मूव वॉक or in every day to day activities in plants and animals both respiration takes place in plants respiration takes place at night at night plants take in oxygen and release out carbon dioxide which is a by product of the respiration clear and in day time plants perform photosynthesis activities it doesn't mean plants only respire at night and in day time they perform only photosynthesis both the processes run simultaneously but their rate is different in different time in day time rate of photosynthesis is higher and the rate of respiration is very very low at night the rate of respiration is very very high so all the processes are negligible are not appreciated are not seen are not visible okay so in case of all living beings in case of either plants or animals both respiration process takes place okay? now we move towards our next like processes that is respiration we have already read about nutrition and now we move towards respiration respiration what do you mean by respiration respiration means oxidation of food in presence or absence of oxygen in living body either in presence or in absence of oxygen in living body when oxidation of food substances it means breaking of food substances taking place to release energy then it is known as respiration and on the basis of availability of oxygen or not it is divided into two parts aerobic respiration or the anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration as the name explains oxidation of food in presence of oxygen oxidation of food in presence of sufficient oxygen then it is known as aerobic respiration and oxidation of food in absence of oxygen or in presence of insufficient amount of oxygen then it is known as an aerobic respiration now we move to explain aerobic respiration now aerobic respiration already we know that the oxidation of food in presence of sufficient amount of oxygen in living being is known as aerobic respiration and as you know this respiration process takes place inside all the cells of the living body that's why it is also known as cellular respiration cellular respiration means respiration takes place inside all cells and we know that mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell that's why because the mitochondria receives uh, mitochondria receives the pyruvic acid after glycolysis and in mitochondria there are oxisomes present and those oxisomes are the center of respiration as they have enzymes for the respiration already ninth class mein pad chuke the ki mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell kyun powerhouse kehte hain kyunki wahan respiration process ke baad एनर्जी रिलीज होती है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी और वह एटीपी वहां स्टोर्ड होता है सो इट इज नोन एज पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल इट मींस इन साइड द लिविंग बॉडी इन ईच सेल ऑफ लिविंग बॉडी द एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया ऑफ द सेल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द कार्बोहाइड्रेट ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल ब्रेक्स इन टू पाइरुविक एसिड और टू पाइरुवेट इट मीन्स six carbon compound this glucose is six carbon compound and it breaks into two molecules of pyruvic acid because one molecule of pyruvic acid has three carbon atoms that's why the six carbon contains
many glucose molecules breaks into two molecules of pyruvic acid or pyruvate and this process of breaking of glucose into pyruvic acid is known as glycolysis and during glycolysis there is no need of oxygen and this glycolysis process takes place before aerobic and anaerobic respiration both so this glycolysis process takes place in cytoplasm of the cell and inside the cytoplasm this glucose molecule which is six carbon compound breaks into two molecules of pyruvic acid and this process is called glycolysis again this pyruvic acid from cytoplasm transferred to the mitochondria यह साइटोप्लाज्म से माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया में ट्रांसफर हो जाता है यह पाइरुविक एसिड एंड देयर द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ पाइरुविक एसिड कंप्लीट्स इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सफिशिएंट ऑक्सीजन एंड दिस साइकिल ऑफ ऑब्टेनिंग एनर्जी बाय द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ पाइरुविक एसिड इनटू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर इज नोन एज क्रेब्स साइकिल एंड दिस प्रोसेस द मेन एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन takes place in the mitochondria of the cell and during aerobic respiration there is release of six carbon dioxide six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and 38 atp energy is released during this breakdown of pyruvic acid into carbon dioxide and water and this 38 atp energy is equal to the amount of 654 kilo calorie and this is the whole aerobic respiration process anaerobic respiration the second type of respiration first was aerobic respiration second is anaerobic respiration the type of respiration which takes place in presence of insufficient amount of oxygen or in absence of oxygen when there is no sufficient oxygen present in the living being then they perform anaerobic respiration or when oxygen is completely absent then also anaerobic respiration takes place in the living beings and for example in microbes like yeast or in the muscle cells of animals during heavy physical exercise this anaerobic respiration takes place now anaerobic respiration as you know as i have told earlier during aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration both first is glycolysis takes place first of all before respiration glycolysis process takes place in all cells where the glucose molecule one carbohydrate molecule breaks into two molecules of pyruvic acid so that also in anaerobic respiration glycolysis takes place in the cells and glucose molecule breaks into three carbon compound that is pyruvic acid or pyruvate and as already told that anaerobic respiration takes place in two ways first in the microorganisms like yeast and second in the muscle cells of the animals of the human beings so first in the yeast or in the microorganisms this pyruvic acid or pyruvate breaks anaerobically anaerobically means without oxygen this pyruvate breaks anaerobically to form two molecules of ethyl alcohol and two molecules of carbon dioxide and during this breakdown of glucose into ethyl alcohol there is release of 2 atp of energy and this process is also known as fermentation so fermentation means breaking of glucose molecules into ethyl alcohol this is called fermentation so in yeast fermentation process takes place anaerobically so that a very little amount of energy that is only 2 atp energy is released as we have already seen during aerobic respiration there is release of 38 atp from the breakdown of one molecule of glucose but here by the breaking of one molecule of glucose only 2 atp energy is released as there is anaerobic respiration takes place in the micro organ
organisms and second in the muscle cells of human being when we work when we do physical exercise or when we perform physical work continuously for long hours generally dekhte hoge cricket ke maidan mein jo cricketers hote hain jo batsmen hote hain fielders hote hain unhe prior test matches ke dauran muscle cramps ho jata hai ठीक है तो वो मसल क्रैम्प जो है वो किसके कारण होता है यह मसल क्रैम्प एनारोबिकली पायरुवेट एसिड और पायरुवेट के एनारोबिक ब्रेकडाउन इनटू लैक्टिक एसिड के कारण होता है जब प्रॉपर अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज के दौरान नहीं मिल पाता वैसी स्थिति में जो लिविंग सेल्स हैं वे एनारोबिकली ये पाय, उनका पायरुविक एसिड जो है वो कन्वर्ट हो जाता है ब्रेक हो जाता है इनटू लैक्टिक एसिड में लैक्टिक एसिड इज आल्सो थ्री कार्बन कंपाउंड एंड वेन लैक्टिक एसिड इज फॉर्म इन द मसल सेल्स वी फील क्रैम्प एंड एट दैट प्लेस देर इज लिटिल स्वेलोइंग देर इज लिटिल रेडनेस वी फील क्रैम्प वी फील पेन ड्यू टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड एरोबिकली एनारोबिकली ठीक है सो द एनारोबिक रेस्पिरेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन लिविंग बींग्स इन टू वेज फर्स्ट इन ईस्ट बाय द फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस दिस पायरुविक एसिड कन्वर्ट्स इन टू इथाइल एल्कोहल दिस सी टू एच फाइव ओ एच दिस इज इथाइल एल्कोहल सो कन्वर्सन ऑफ ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल्स इन टू इथाइल एल्कोहल इज नोन एज फर्मेंटेशन सो इन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम the anaerobic respiration takes place through fermentation and in muscle cells of animals this anaerobic respiration takes place by the formation of lactic acid anaerobically and during anaerobic respiration one thing is noted that the release of energy the amount of release of energy this amount is very very little when we compare it with the aerobic respiration during aerobic respiration 38 atp energy is released due to the breakdown of one molecule of glucose but here in anaerobic respiration only two molecule of atp is released during fermentation and one atp is released during the formation of lactic acid in muscle cells that's all the anaerobic respiration takes place now key points of respiration first is glycolysis what do you mean by glycolysis breaking of glucose into pyruvic acid is known as glycolysis and during glycolysis there is no need of oxygen molecules second is krebs cycle or citric acid cycle complete oxidation of glucose molecules in mitochondria to release energy or release sufficient amount of energy from one molecule of glucose this is called krebs cycle and this krebs cycle takes place inside the mitochondria of the cell and third key point is fermentation breaking of glucose molecules into ethyl alcohol or ethanol anaerobically is called fermentation process is tarah se humne dusra life process bhi pad liya jo ki hai respiration so i hope aapko samajh mein aa gaya hoga and you will prepare yourself for board 2021 thank you